Mr. Reese. I was thinking that you and Detective Fusco might stop by the bank. Might stop by the bank. Might stop by the bank. You need us to make a deposit, Finch? The canister from the crime scene is a remnant of a long defunct pneumatic tube mail network that once ran beneath the city. One of its hubs was an old retail bank. Might stop by the bank. Which has recently found new ownership. which has recently found new ownership. Mr. Elias appears to have revived it to conceal his communications. Smuggle murder weapons into highly secured government buildings. Smuggle murder weapons into highly secured government buildings. Did I leave a breadcrumb? Just wondering what's up your sleeve. Trap door. Pneumatic tubes rigged with C4. Pneumatic tubes rigged with C4. Looks like the spot. You got a plan to get in, partner? Relax. We got a backstage pass. Done. We're in the bank, Finch. We're in the bank, Finch. Got before the brother comes looking to make their own withdrawal. Nomadic tubes once looped around the entire island of Manhattan. Delivering mail and money. American ingenuity at its finest. And you would have me leave, flee like a coward. Second-rate politician from District 7. Public office is the last refuge of the incompetent. I'm incompetent. So much so, I could never get elected to public office. I ran for any and everything. Alderman, councilman, assembly leader. I became a laughing stock. I couldn't even get on the ticket. One desperate grandstand play, you know what I did? I ran a hot air balloon. Hot air. That's a perfect vehicle for you. It was a beautiful Fourth of July day. I planned to fly over the boardwalk and the beach. One more leaflet to the stylish crowd below. My motto was, vote for Smith. Just when I got up in the balloon, a terrible storm came up and blew me into the clouds. I got lost. I landed here in Oz. They never seen a hot air balloon like mine before. They proclaimed me the wizard. No, I needed the job. The Brotherhood. I can't say I didn't warn you. Hurry. This way. Fool me once, old man. Once, old man. 
Exactly. In this day and age, a fugitive crime lord like yourself remains free. Because two of New York's finest protect and serve you. How? From now on, they answer to me. And you're all gonna tell me how this little symbiotic relationship works. I'm offering a place at the table. Acknowledge me as the head of the five families, and you and your men can live. You want some air? You want some air? You want some air? Tell me where your hacker boss is. It's about to begin. The correction. Correction? Samaritan is planning an attack. When? The ferry bombing. You sanctioned Nathan Ingram's death along with all the other innocent people. Lot's wife couldn't help but look back at the burning city and she burst into a pillar of salt. Do you know the, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? You said yourself you're good at shutting your eyes. The world is about to catch fire, but you can still save yourself if you don't do anything to stop the correction. Here's your last chance to look away. Those who impede progress, the disruptive, the aberrant, will be systematically purged from our society. For some, this will be the end. Go home to your loved ones. Hold your daughter tight, because a new day is dawning. There will be no mercy. But for others, a rebirth. No stay of execution. Every life given a purpose, Samaritan will build a new world. A second chance to live the life they were designed for. A better world. Time to make a deal. Detective Riley, Elias era is over. New world order. I want the keys to the city. There are no keys. No arrangements. May 6, what have you heard? Any operations in and around the capital? I have reason to believe an attack is going to take place in the next 24 hours. It's called the correction. Operational quarantine. Do not disturb, nobody in or out. Columbia Heights? Lock down all the exits. Lock down all the exits. Quarantine address, Columbia Heights. Get the ratchet. Take some balls thrown an off the books ops and a quarantined address. Why are we breaking into this place? That quarantine order from research? Mm -hmm. I never ordered it. Lock down all the exits. 15 laptops, huh? Started? I'm trying to avoid a shutdown, actually. That smell. Ammonium nitrate. Fertilizer. Why is the lid cut off? With the bomb. With a wave of brownout spreading across the U.S., experts expect power surges and outages up the East Coast and into the greater New York area. John, look out your window. On the power lines, do you see any boxes? I see one. It's marked with a T. Why? But why are we allowed to see what's inside? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Last guy who had your job, he opened up one of those boxes. Next day, he was gone. We've been replacing these things for how many months now? You've never been tempted to see what's inside. It's a line conditioning box. It's all you need to know. It's all I know. You're the boss. The machine is here. It's here because it's everywhere. The machine gave up its location to save our lives. This is one of any number of city substations devoted to the distribution of electricity across the southern half of New York. The machine 
He's using the power grid as a giant brain. So when the machine moved itself, it didn't go to a data farm. It went into the wires. It uploaded itself directly into the nation's electrical grid. Essentially, there's a tremendous amount of unused space in copper power lines. In copper power lines. In copper power lines. The boxes on the lines allow the machine's digital signals to travel in that space. A highly complex computational system hiding in plain sight. Samaritan, we need to pull the feeds, blind the damn thing now. Why would we blind the single greatest watchdog America has ever had? And Samaritan is his weapon. There's going to be a bomb that detonates here in D.C. tomorrow. You know how the wheels spin in this city? A few pawns get fired, but the person who's really responsible just gets a bigger checkbook. Real control is invisible, surgical. It interferes only when necessary. Most of humanity is docile, pliant. It's only ever a few hundred people to create all of the problems. We haven't failed yet. You had an impossible challenge. One I never programmed before. Root, I don't think the machine can help us anymore. So far, these two single episodes at the end of season four of a show called Person of Interest. These are the only two instances that I can find of anything filmed inside of Trump's 40 Wall Street copper topped bank. The bank that a plane flew into just 600 times 60 times 60 seconds before he was born in 1946. What you're about to see is what is called the construct. Demonic influence which possesses those who work in Hollywood to foreshadow the plans of the devil. You see the Hollywood script is the dark side version of the holy scripture. The devil wants to be like the most high and elevate himself above God. And God gave us eyes to see these things and to expose them so that you will no longer be deceived. Now based on our research over the past several years, what has been revealed to me is that Helios or Sol Invictus is the spirit or the demon that possesses New York and its leaders in the Big Apple. They are the princes of darkness. So what is this show all about? Well, it's about two competing artificial intelligences. One is called the machine and the other is called the Samaritan. And both are evil, but they want you to believe that one is good and one is not. They're portrayed as all knowing and all seeings. And they tap into the city and the world's camera and microphone system in order to enact complete control on everyone that is living there holding the world in balance by silently killing anyone who threatens that balance. Does this sound familiar? We heard and saw this in the last season of Westworld. It had the same exact theme, but in that series, the AIs were named Jeroboam and Solomon. Now I was shocked to see Jim Caviezel in this series, taking his orders from the artificial intelligence. You see, everybody that makes it through the glass ceiling of influence has already been corrupted. Now, it's interesting because there's an aspect to this when they descend down into the vault of Trump's building. You'll see them going down into a pneumatic tube system. Now, you can make of that what you will. Pneumatic, pneumonia, both mean air, hot air. This hot air pneumatic tube system was prominent underneath New York City and Manhattan. 
They also have one of these in Paris. Go figure, right? Statue of Liberty is from Paris. And we both have pneumatic tube systems. Ours was operational until the 1960s. But one of the hubs seems to be directly beneath Trump's building. And I began to see the connections between this hot air and helium, helios, hot air rising, helium rising into the stratosphere. And I began to see this connection in the film called The Wiz that came out in 1978. It starred Michael Jackson and Diana Ross. And The Wizard of Oz explains that he was a politician, a corrupt politician. And then he got his power to be Emperor or the Wizard of Oz when he flew his balloon over Atlantic City. You know, like Trump's casino. And he said that when he he went into like another dimension somehow. And then you see that he shines the light. That's Helios. That's the sun god. And that when he got to the wizard or when he got to Oz that the people had never seen this balloon before and began to worship him and made him the wizard and I'm starting to wonder if something similar hasn't happened in our reality some machine helium helios that was shown to these leaders to make them give in to what we're going through right now so Back to person of interest, they're down in the basement, in the vault, just like in The Wiz. And of course, there are rival gangs called the Brotherhood. And then we get the iPad go to overlay, Fool Me Once. Now, all of this points back to election days. We've been tracking these election days and seeing how they overlay one another. How Lincoln was elected his second time on Dunst Day, November 8th. And how in 2016, Trump was elected on Dunst Day, November 8th. So this stuff is pretty crazy. They even mentioned quarantine and lockdowns and shutdowns in this episode, these last two episodes of Person of Interest. I wish that I was making all this up. But there it is right there in the script, in the devil's scripture. They talk about not getting enough air. Everything that we're going through right now. Now, this is where they get into the correction or the reset. And they talk about how one of these AIs is planning to reset everything. And that's exactly what CV-19 has done. It has reset everything now this reset is supposed to happen on may 6th in in the series and i don't know how that dovetails in but they do talk about supreme court justices and a planned attack on the supreme court justices we know that ruth Bader ginsburg died of old age i don't think she was taken out many people think she was but how does that fit into all of this it's very difficult to tell but they talk about the end they talk about everything catching fire. They talk about a great reset in this last episode of Person of Interest. Now, the reset includes a purge getting rid of all the dissidents and people that don't agree with their system. And just like in many of the other films that we've decoded, they mention keys, keys to the city which the Brotherhood faction wants to take away from Elias, who I believe is like the Trump character. And of course, Trump loves his keys. Why? Because of Janice, Bifrons, Biff, as well as Gemini. So this goes on here. Are the quarantine mentions over and over, over again. This place uh, on Columbus, you're in Columbus, Columbia Heights is protected it's under quarantine. 
they raid the location they find BOMBS as part of the reset as they try to shut it down or stop it from happening Then there's a blackout as one of the AIs tries to use that blackout to defend itself, but I believe that this is really a metaphor for the VIRUS that was coming and that they knew was coming. Remember, all of this came about and aired several months before Trump would ever announce his presidency. And then we get the 5G aspect to all of this as the workers on the lines don't even look at what they're installing they never even took the time to understand what was really going on right before their eyes and everything that we talked about the copper lines is coming to fruition as they install these i call them trump boxes the 5g whiz technology that nobody wants to ask questions about but yet we're all willing to build our own infrastructure of death and so it turns out that the copper boxes and the copper lines become the home or the brain for one of these AIs that they are trying to save. And this is everything we've been talking about. Abraham Lincoln, the telegraph president, the copper president, under which the transatlantic copper telegraph lines were installed. And here we are, our full circle with 5G Wiz and all of the copper that will be needed for it in these these towers. So all of the clues are there if you have eyes to see. We've come full circle. Telegraph of 1858, the transatlantic telegraph line, and now copper coin shortages. Most coins are 90% copper. Dimes, quarters, pennies have a small coating of copper. But this might make sense as to why we have this coin shortage. And of course, the coin shortage also has to do with the currency reset. But why would they start with coins? Well, now we know they need the copper to finalize the last parts of our own prison. Because see, if they were to just start building up the copper mine infrastructure, that would raise a flag, wouldn't it? So why not just ask for the coins back and do away with certain coins in order to free up that copper? That would be a lot less suspicious, wouldn't it? So these pneumatic tubes are a metaphor for the World Wide Web. They were the first means of instant communication after the telegraph, and then they were replaced with power lines power lines that we could communicate through electronic lines that then evolved into networks and now we are at 5G Wiz the network that will change everything by the end of the season the machine is downloaded into some hard drives it is as it is overtaken by the attack and that's where it ends the machine and this is where we're all headed take care and be safe you guys